So this little guy here is in our Missouri Mule Company playpen. And we're just gonna be working with him, getting him used to the halter, leading. Yeah, he's getting a little better about his head being messed with. He's not fighting it as much. Before he was really shying his head away and didn't want anybody touching his head, so he's gotten a lot better about it. And that carries right on through to when they grow up and you're trying to bridle them and stuff. Messing with their ears. They learn to be scared. And a lot of mules that take advantage of a human, they'll think, well, I'll take. They figure out if they act like a fool when you stick your bridle on, because you think they're ear shy, then they get to get away with that. Once they learn that, you can forget it. If you notice, we put the mare in the breeding stock so that she's not slipping and jumping and fussing and moving around, and that gets the colt's mind off its mama. That's kind of that's a lot handier than just tying her on the rail or leaving Certainly. her in the stall when we take the colt out. Otherwise, he's trying to get up under her, trying to get away from what he should be learning. Are you finding this is beneficial today? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we've got him working pretty well here. So we're going to work with him over the next five days or so, and then we're going to be turning him out to pasture with his mama for the next thirty days, just so he doesn't learn any bad habits he can just be a mule for a little bit and then after he's done that we're going to bring him back in here and wean him from his mama and put him in a stall and then after that we're going to bring him back in here we're going to work with him again on the same method and see just how much this has really helped even after he's been turned out to pasture for 30 days if you'd be interested in purchasing this little mule as your future trail mount Give Bob a call or email him at MissouriMuleCompany.com.